Welcome, friends, to Socket Obscura. Follow me and see sockets and other fastener drive systems that are unusual, obscure, and even obsolete. Hey guys, got another unusual tool here. This is a vintage Snap-on military surplus socket. It's got an 11 16th 12 point opening and it can do this. Why would you need it to do that? I don't know. For some reason it's got a metal spinny ring in the center and it spins super smooth. I don't think there's a bearing in there or anything, but there might be. It kind of feels like there is. I, I feel like I could just spin this thing around for hours and hours like this. Maybe days even. It, it, it's kind of relaxing. Anyway, there's quite a bit of external chamfer on the 12 point end. And these two other rings on here appear to be pressed on. They're what holds the spinny ring in place. On the drive end you've got some pretty decent knurling. So you can turn it with your fingers. And then you got a big old hole through it, so you could stick a Tommy bar in there and get some extra leverage. And it's also got a standard half inch square drive, so you can put a ratchet on it. I thought maybe this was some sort of modified or custom made tool, but when I tried googling the part number on it, I found a ton of eBay listings for these. So it came like this from the factory. If you want one, it looks like Epstein's has a bunch of them in stock for 17 bucks each, although theirs look a bit more rusty than mine. They advertise it as a spark plug socket, but I was hoping to find some more information on it. So then I put the part number into Google Books to see if there was maybe an old technical manual or something that referenced it. The only thing I could find was this Bureau of Aeronautics thing from 1943, so that at least dates it to a World War II era. This is some kind of list of toolkits for aircraft. And here's our part number. So yeah, it's a spark plug socket. In the other columns, it shows what toolkits this would have went in. So this would have been in the check crew, hydraulic man, or propeller man's kits. If we go to the end of the book, there's some pictures of the different aircraft toolkits. This is ours here. Unfortunately, this is a pretty low resolution scan and I can't make out where the socket is in the kit. I tried enhancing the image. Enhance. 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 Nah, I still can't make it out. I'm guessing it's one of these sockets over here. Most of the aircraft engine spark plugs I looked at were 7 8 hex, but our socket is 11 16 I did find one spark plug, the AY4, which has an 11 16 hex. According to the sale listing I found, the AY4 was used in Lycoming four-cylinder engines, which were hobbyist type engines, so I doubt the Air Force was using those. But the AY4 is listed as an alternate plug for the C-27, so maybe it was an alternate plug for some military aircraft. You can see here how it has a reduced hex size compared to the C-27, so this is definitely the plug it was intended to be used on. I'm guessing, due to the reduced diameter of the plug, they were prone to snapping off while installing, and the spinny bit on the socket was designed to press up against something on the cylinder head and keep the socket aligned with the plug. Yeah, I spent way too much time researching this, but I hate having a tool and not knowing what it's for. Alright guys, I think I'm just going to spin this thing around some more. This is kind of fun. I like doing this. You guys can go ahead and just click the back button now. I'll be here. I'll just be spinning this thing around. Just spinning it around and around. Yeah. And then maybe I can spin it the other way. Yeah. Yeah, I really like doing this. It's really relaxing. I think I'll just 
keep spinning this. Maybe forever. I don't know.